Now, as I was saying before, you can see there are no power lines coming to this house. There's none buried. There is the power source right there. Four solar panels. And then under the panels in that little shed, there's a battery bank of six batteries. They're quite massive. Uh, they look like someone, something like an old forklift battery or dozer battery. You know, they're actually designed for solar panels and solar systems. And uh, that's what powers the host. As you can see there, there's a, another panel. That's a uh, solar hot water panel. That's going to be hooked up roughly where the uh, new siding is and to provide uh, solar hot water in the summertime. Now in the winter, uh, he has a lot of and that gets the hot water. But in the summertime, obviously, you can't run the wood stove. So we, we're going to have this panel hooked up so we can have hot water year-round should be pretty good and then probably going to actually hook that panel up to that little solar panel there and hook the pump up to it so when the sun comes out and the water starts warming up the circulator part the pump starts to run that way we don't need any switches it all controls itself it's fully automated you know as long as there's sun or it's winter time you have hot water which is always a bonus country and your power is limited. Um, I mean, we do have power, but we use it mostly for things like I said, right? things like that. And we do have to use it sparingly. We can't use it.